Suppose we're given two numbers. The first, which represents a distance in millions of miles, and the second, which represents a speed in miles per hour. And we're asked simply to calculate how long it would take to travel this distance. And we need to display our answer with the units of days, hours, minutes, and seconds. This problem may appear trivial at first, but if you try it, you'll find that it's surprisingly difficult. The reason why is that our input data is given in a format of decimals, whereas the output that we need to generate is in units of integers. If we try to use regular decimal arithmetic and then try to round our answers, or we try to use the cast operator as is shown here, we're going to run into all kinds of problems. Any attempt to get around this by adding small increments to our answers is just going to pull us even deeper into the weeds. This example here, which shows the wrong way to try to do these calculations, is going to create answers that are often off by one single digit in the least significant dec decimal place. Instead, let me show you the right way to handle this problem. Here, we see that other than the first line, which I'll get to in a minute, the entire rest of the method uses only integer arithmetic. We use this sequence of division, which is integer division, and modulo, which is working on two integer numbers, to avoid having any kind of decimal errors in our calculations. The only place where we start with a decimal is in this first line, and the very first thing we do is we take our data and immediately convert it to the lowest denomination that we have in our problem. In this problem, the lowest time denomination we're working with is seconds, so we immediately start the problem by taking the data that we have and converting it into an integer number of seconds. Everything else we can derive from this integer. By doing this, we can avoid all the rounding errors produced in Java or in any other language associated with floating point arithmetic.